Hi guys, today I have a review and I'm gonna do a wear test throughout the day. I told you guys in my uh, foundation declutter that I would be doing reviews. So I thought I would start off with this foundation since it's the one that I've been wearing regularly throughout the week. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation and it has SPF 20 which is really amazing. Like, this foundation retails for $29 which is a pretty good decent amount. It's kind of like a mid-tone range uh, price. It says it has no silicone, no oils, no parabens, no uh, no fragrance. It's hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. And it says it's supposed to reveal bright, more even toned skin with a no makeup look and feel. Coconut direct base with a jojoba coated mineral pigments and lilac plant, plant stem cells and vitamin C. Which all sounds really great. I think in order for you to see the benefits of something like this, this is something that you would need to you know, use uh, continuously for a long period of time in order for you to notice the benefits but the fact that this is skincare based I love I really really do love that they have 20 shades which is amazing I'm in the shade bare caramel number 14 and this seems to match me perfectly almost year-round sometimes in the summer when I get a little bit darker it tends to look a little bit lighter on me like right now it's starting to to look a little bit lighter I'm gonna get started this foundation is very liquidy and I don't know if you hear the little ball in there they do recommend that you shake it up really well it comes with a brush when well, it doesn't come you have to buy the brush separately I didn't buy the brush I find that to be a little bit gimmicky whenever a foundation like there's a required brush that you have to use with it which I don't I went ahead and printed this but there's a little brush and it has like a little um, pocket in the center where you can drop your foundation in which I find that to be less messy you know what I mean but I didn't buy the brush I just apply it with my fingers for me I've been using this regularly now for a little while now and I find that less of this foundation for me is better because as the day goes on and the way that it breaks on my skin I have combination skin with some sensitivity in this in the winter I get a little bit more dry in this area but as it starts getting warmer I get uh, oily in my t-zone area so the way that I like to apply it is just three drops right there that is all I need I find that when I apply more than that it just doesn't it, it does build up a little bit I think up to medium coverage but I don't just don't like the way that it sits on my skin so I like to apply it on my little candle lid right there and it is it is clean by the way I'm not putting on a primer either and the way that I like to apply it is basically just rub it around with my fingers, which this can be messy. You don't have to do it this way. I just find that this is the best way that it's worked for me personally. And I like to spread it out and I find that with the least amount of product, this gives me the best coverage. And then if I feel like I need to blend it out in other areas, then I go in with a brush or my beauty blender but I don't always find that I need that. Now with this foundation for me, I get very, very oily throughout the day as my oils start protruding out of my skin. It breaks down the foundation and not in a very good way. Some foundations as the day goes on, the foundation ends up looking better on your skin. This is not that foundation for me. So that is the reason why I apply a smaller amount. So I'm just gonna uh, grab just a brush and just kind of Pat it in just to take any, you know, patchiness away. You can see that it's it looks a little bit light on me. But I would say that's a pretty light coverage. Let me bring you in closer. Um, it covered a little bit of my hyperpigmentation here. I have some blemish here, which it covered um, a little bit as well. You can still see that one right there. You can still see these right here but I don't like to build it up like I said so I'm gonna leave it just like that now I like to stack up the powder in my t-zone area because that's where I get oily the most and this is the way that I've made it work for me so that it lasts all day long and I don't really get too oily so I like to just kind of stack it in this area right here I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, it is now 12.45. I'm going to try to wear this foundation for a good 8 hours. I do want to show you guys, take a photo and then show you guys if it has flashback. I'm pretty sure it will because it does have an SPF. And it does have a flashback but I don't think it looks terribly wrong. Of course it is daytime so 
I, for me, this foundation would be more of a daytime appropriate foundation. Not for going out for events or anything like that where you're going to be taking photos uh, with flash. I'm going to try to check in two to three hours or so. I do have my kits with me today, but I want to show you guys what the foundation is still looking like and if it's breaking down on me or whatever. I think it looks really pretty initially. It looks very skin-like. It doesn't look heavy at all. Let me bring you guys in closer. I do have bronzer and then my blush that I'm wearing is Coral Lisa. So that's the sheen that you guys are seeing from that. But my bronzer up here is matte. And as you can see, there is a bit of a glow going on. It's like kind of like a real skin kind of glow. So I really, really, really like that. I need to kind of wipe down my powder here it looks like real skin in my opinion so i really enjoy it i'll check in in a few hours guys so i'll see you guys in a little bit okay i am in my kitchen and it is 2:56. so about a couple of hours nothing really has changed okay i have lipstick here because i was eating something oh, i'm not trying to rub anything off and this is what it looks like from inside. I'm making lunch, I have stuff on my counter. But it still looks really pretty to me. I feel like the fact that I stuck the powder in these areas right here, um, it has really controlled my oils. I have my fans going on because it is a little bit warm um, outside. So let me show you guys what it looks like from the outside, right? Okay, so I'm outside right now and Hopefully you guys can see what it looks like. I haven't gotten oily. It's pretty warm today. I want to say mid to high 70s. It's kind of cool in my house, which is why I had a sweater on. Um, but I think it's still looking pretty okay. My nose looks a little bit on the red side. Uh, but nothing too, too major. Let me guys really up close and personal right now. Excuse my lipstick. That's what happens when you eat like an animal <laughs> so i'll check back in a few hours i'll see you guys in a minute okay so it is now 6 24 so well over a couple of hours from my my last check-in and right now i do notice a difference starting to wear down quite a bit over here but i touched my face so that's to be expected for me these blemishes right here had very little coverage to begin with but now i just they're full on out so I see them a lot more I've also noticed that the foundations now settled into my fine lines as well as um, like in this area right here it started breaking down I'll bring you guys in closer in just a second and it's starting to break down in this area and not in a very good way it's looking very ashy actually so and I don't like that and it's completely rubbed off like the bridge of my nose and I haven't touched that at all so and just to show you guys the side of my nose so it's kind of bunched up in this little area here and just broken down right here you can see the redness around my nose as well as in this area right over here as well i think the main part where it broke down the earliest was just my nose i could see my actual skin within a couple of hours but it didn't look horrible it still blended into the rest of my face which is great and then you can see my little friends right over here and then i don't know if you can see how it's settling into this particular area right here as well as this area right here is where it normally for me it starts breaking down as well i don't get as oily in this particular area i normally I get a little bit more on the dry side but it it's breaking down it's looking a little bit more cakey and just a little bit on the gray side <laughs> which is not very flattering this wore down a little earlier because i was eating and then my lipstick touched my chin area and just whatever my forehead still looks good my bronzer still looks good i think the foundation looks pretty decent still and i haven't touched anything up i haven't powdered up or anything like that it still looks pretty good and i don't feel like i need to add powder or anything like that because i did stack up the powder here that's the only thing that really helps me from getting very oily but i do that because i already know this foundation and i already know if i don't do that i'm gonna get very greasy so i'm gonna check in in um uh, maybe two to three more hours so i'll see you guys in a few okay guys it is now uh almost 9 30 so i think about six three hours from the last check-in i actually forgot and i start i grabbed my tissue paper and 
started patting on my face. I was like, wait, I need to do my check-in before and I completely forgot. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. It was just the tiniest bit of oil and where I normally get oily, which is in this area right here and like right around this area of my nose, in between my brows and a little bit on this part of my chin. It wasn't anything excessive. It was starting to look past that glow point leaning into the greasy point so i just felt the need to kind of start patting gently again i didn't touch up throughout the day i think the foundation held up pretty decently i think this is a really good everyday foundation i quickly want to mention something that i didn't mention in um, you know when i first started the video sometimes i think just depending on the weather i do suffer from allergies my skin is a little bit on the sensitive side sometimes when i put this foundation on not all the time just sometimes when i do put it on i feel very itchy my skin feels very very itchy but the itchiness does go away after a little while it does not cause a rash or anything like that so i don't think i'm overly sensitive just slightly sensitive to the actual foundation some days it actually doesn't itch at all so i don't know what the deal is with that let me know if you've experienced the similar something similar with this but for the most part i mean I, my skin doesn't react with a brush or anything like that so i think the foundation overall it still looks pretty decent i like the fact that it's very skin like i like the fact that it has an spf 20 but it's not a foundation that i would purchase again for an everyday basis i'm using it every day right now because i have it in a project use up for 2016 it's not my ultimate favorite i think coverage wise is very minimal and it's only because i have to apply the smallest amount i don't like building this foundation up because the way it breaks down on my skin especially when i start getting oily it just doesn't break down gracefully and i'm just not a fan of that it's not a foundation that i would rely on to wear if i'm going to be out for like over four six eight hours i hope you guys found this review very helpful thank you guys so much for watching if you've used this foundation and you've had you've had a different experience than i have let us know in the comment section below as well as what your skin type is thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye